Hello there, everyone. Welcome back again for the second day where we're going to talk about the seven habits of highly effective people. I still remain your host, Anyama Komi Jonathan, and uh, this program is proudly brought to you by UFC Naxon. And uh, we're glad that uh, we have gone through. For those of you who missed yesterday, let's look at a brief overview of uh, what we talked about yesterday. So yesterday we talked about the first habit, the habit that says that we must be proactive. Uh, by being proactive, it means that you must take an initiative to make things happen. And you need to seek for new ideas, learn new ways of how things can be done. And also always, when you make a mistake, you must learn from it. Uh, above all, we also say that you must not focus your energy on the circle of concern, but rather try to expand your circle of influence such that uh, you will be able to make people around you at least reason with you in things that you can do. Uh, thank you so much for those who have watched and I like the reviews I'm receiving. Uh, please do comment or send us a mail and we'll be able to reply to you or we'll try to adjust on some of the positive feedbacks that we are receiving from you that are constructive. So like I said yesterday, today we're going to talk about the second habit. And the second habit of, uh, written, written by Stephen Covey says that we must begin with the end in mind. Those who watched the video yesterday, I remember telling you and asking you this, that assuming that uh, this was your coffin, yeah? How do you want people to eulogize you? The question is, how do you want people to remember you if this was your coffin here? All right? That's a question for you. Secondly, assuming that you're this lady who is retiring. You see, they have written here, happy retirement. How do you want to be remembered at your workplace? And above all, lastly, if this museum was you and this is your 100th birthday, how do you want your family to remember you when you are 100 years old. So that's the second thing we're talking about, to begin with the end in mind. So the question is, how do you want to be regarded by those attending your retirement or your funeral? I did ask you that. So what we need to understand is that all things are created twice. One must be created mentally, and then you will create it physically. Meaning that uh, for you to be able to make a vehicle, you must first think into your mind, which kind of vehicle you need to make. Uh, let me make it simpler even. If you want to go and plant in your garden, you first have to think of what you need to plant before you can actually go and do the planting. And that is what we are talking about today. So what do we mean by saying you must have the end in mind? If you are to have the end in mind, colleagues, you must have a clear vision. So that habit two is telling us that we must create a clear vision of direction and destination that we want to go to so that we can achieve our goal. The goal here is we want to maybe pass in, uh, for the goal of uh, uh, where I talked about digging, you want to rip something in your garden, right? So for you to rip something in your garden, you obviously have to plan. Okay, I need to dig, I need to plan when I'm going to do the weeding and how I'm going to do it and what I'm going to plant. So that is what we're talking about. So it's about setting a long-term goal based on true north or what is known principles that will guide your daily life. Uh, I like this quote by Mahatma Gandhi, who said that you need to live your life as if you were going to die tomorrow and learn as if you were going to live forever, meaning that every day you have to learn. But if you're doing something, you need to do it as if you're going to die tomorrow. You're not going to be there, all right? So like I said, life is always, people have life that is centered onto something, right? I want to ask you, what's your life centered on? Is, are, you, are you more focused on your spouse, mean your wife or your husband, your boyfriend? Are you focused on work, 
Are you focused on money? Are you focused on attending birthday parties? Are you focused on your family having pleasure, making friends or enemies? Are you more focused on yourself among everything that we have? So I would love to see what some of you may think about in that. But the question here is everyone has a focus where their life is centered on. So personally, what's your life centered on? So as I said, some people's life are centered into different directions, right? Yes. So someone can say, me, my focus is to have wisdom. They read books and books and books, right? There are some people who, whose center of attraction is that they need to make sure that they have security, okay? They are secure. They're always concerned. People are coming to kill them. They're going to die. Why? Some people's focus is that they need guidance, okay? And some people's focus is they want to always have the power to do something like the politicians. They're always focused about having the power to control something. And my brothers and sisters, those things you focus on or what you think about are what we call the principles that define you. So I want you to today to sit and, and ask yourself, what are the things, the principles that guide my life? What are the things that govern the way I do my things? So the principles of how you see the world helps you to actually make give you a picture of what your world is like or how you see other people's world like all right so that's it how do you see the world do you see the world the same way other people see that for them they see the world as money for them they see the world as power yeah so those are the things i really want us to look at so if you have principles a quick feedback review said if you have principles that you follow the principles will guide you on how you see the world and then when you see the world how it is then you will craft yourself a mission statement and someone will ask me what is a mission statement right so a mission statement mainly is uh, the way how you see the world happening all right, a mission is what you want. I mean, sorry, let's recap on that again. I said a paradigm is how you see the world. All right, but a mission statement is a definition of what you want to achieve in your life. Yeah, it's different from a vision. A vision is the desired future that you're thinking about. Maybe someone will say, I want to live a life where I'm staying in a three-story building, right? That's a vision. A mission is what you have to do every day to make sure that you reach to your destiny. That is your vision. So colleagues, like I said, uh, the second uh, habit taught to us by Stephen Covey is that we must begin with the end in mind. So how many of you outside there have a mission statement? They are personal. I don't ask about the organization's vision. I don't ask about the school vision. I don't ask about those ones. I want you to look at and examine yourself personally. What are the things you hold so much in your life? And then craft yourself a vision out of them for your desired future. And colleagues, that's the reason why organizations also have a mission statement and a vision and the objectives come in. So today, Habit 2 is encouraging all of us that as you live out of this place, you must be able to come up with your own mission statement that will define you and also focus and have a mind to look for yourself of how you want the future to be for yourself that is your vision all right thank you so much that is our second habit the habit that says you must begin with the end in mind i hope from today onwards when you're doing anything any work you're going to first focus on your on your on what the end is for you what the end goal is and uh, like i said this broadcast was brought to you by you in action and you can still write to us. Please do like our page and follow us on our social media handles, both on Twitter and Facebook, and we'll be able to get in touch with you. Thank you for joining us today. And 
just like how I did yesterday. If you tomorrow, please don't miss tomorrow. We're going to look at habit three, which says that please you must put first things first. Yeah, I know it's a tedious one, and I'm excited about it. I'm waiting to see you guys tomorrow. This habit three, which says put first things first, focuses on where we spend our time, and it tells us about our priorities. Tomorrow we're going to focus some attention to discuss about the time and urgent versus important matrix. All right. Do you want to understand this matrix? Please join us tomorrow at the same time and we'll be able to discuss with you how to do that. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining us in. Uh, have a good night from me to you all. Please do share this and uh, don't benefit alone. Allow others also to benefit from it. Thank you so much and have the best of your night. Goodbye.